Well, at least we're not dealing with the ice. Goodness gracious. It looks more like winter in Texas than it does here in New England, but that's about to swap. While it may not look like winter tomorrow, it is surely going to feel like it. Now, like you just heard, a lot of folks dealing with the cold New England, of course. We have these wind chill warnings up for all of Western Mass, most of New England, the Hudson Valley and Southern Connecticut. We have wind chill advisories. These begin tomorrow morning and will last out through Saturday morning. Wind chills expected to max out tomorrow night, close to midnight and just after anywhere between 20 and 40 below zero. Now the wind chill warnings, I mean, that's extreme stuff. When we get wind chills that drop down below, uh, you know, 20, 30 degrees below zero, frostbite can set in within 10 to 20 minutes. Hypothermia also a concern too. Uh, so, I mean, this is some dangerous cold that we've got. The good news is it's going to be fairly short lived. Now, while we're dealing with these extreme wind chills, especially tomorrow night to Saturday morning, make sure that you limit your time outside. I mean, it, it's pretty much, you know, an obvious thing, but don't forget about the animals too. Uh, even livestock, you have to be very careful with your animals in this kind of cold because they feel the wind chill too, and they can get frostbite and hypothermia just as easily as we can. Now, take a look at your 24. The cold front's not coming through until about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. So temperatures continue to slowly drop through the 20s. We'll have our front come through with maybe a snow shower or snow squall, uh, and then we'll start clearing right back out. But once the front passes, wind shifts to the northwest, and that starts pushing in this colder air mass. By 8 a.m., we're talking teens and even single digits in the Berkshires. We're going to linger there until I would say early to mid afternoon. At that point, we'll start seeing temperatures fall into the single digits everywhere. We start seeing temperatures fall below zero for Friday night, and we may get as low as five to 15 below zero for our actual low temperature early Saturday morning. We'll have clear skies and it'll still be blustery, though wind will start backing down as we get closer to sunrise Saturday. Wind chill forecast for Friday. That's pretty gross. Uh, make sure that you, you know, have the heavy duty winter coat ready to go if you have to be outside tomorrow, even if it's quick. That is going to hurt when it hits you, especially tomorrow night, 6 p.m., 22 below zero wind chill. We go out to 7, 8, 9 o'clock. It just keeps getting worse. And again, during the overnight is when we max out. That might be a little extreme in Worthington. I think 40 below is as bad as it's going to get, but we could have that 20 and 30 degree below zero wind chills in the valley too. Now, by sunrise on Saturday, the wind will start coming up by noon. We're getting back to zero in the valley and then later in the day temperatures may actually come up a little bit more and they're going to keep climbing going into Sunday, which is looking much nicer. So looking at Saturday's high temperatures we will end up in the teens, blustery wind northwest 10 to 20 miles an hour and sunny and then Sunday wind shifts out of the southwest. Look at these temperatures 40 to 45 degrees, mostly cloudy, but it is looking dry. Now our next weather maker looks like it's not going to come in until maybe late to mild too, with temperatures looking to get back into the 40s, possibly even nearing 50 by midweek. Back to you guys.